Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So for today's video I wanted to do flat lay photography and so I just kind of was working with what I've seen done or what I thought I would knew about flat lays if that makes sense. Um, so I've never done a lot of flat lays. I do have a few photos up on my Instagram feed so you guys can check that out. I will link my Instagram definitely down below in the description box but it'll also be somewhere on the screen. Um, but yeah, if you guys are wanting to know more about flat lay photography and how to do flat lays and how I've done some of mine, then that's what this video is about. If you're new to my channel, then I just want to say welcome. You guys should subscribe. This channel is lots of fun. I do vlogs. I do a weekly vlog every single week as well. I try and do photography photo or photos, obviously photography photos. No, I try to do photography videos. I am not a professional photographer in any way, but I want to learn more about the art of photography and maybe one day make it my career. But for now, I just want to learn more and invest myself more into it. And so what I wanted to do for you guys was to, as I'm learning, be able to bring you guys along on the journey and we can learn together. And so that's what this video is about for flat lays. I'm not an expert in flat lays in any way, but I wanted to give it a shot. I wanted to have some for my Instagram feed. And so this video is gonna be showing you how I got some of my flat lays for Instagram. So if you guys are interested, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on future videos. And without further ado, let's get into this video. For my flat lays, I'm going to be recording on my old <laughs> vlog camera. So just the little guy here. Um, so that I can use my DSLR for setting up the flat lay and taking the picture. So I'll show you what I'm doing so far. So right now I have my tripod just set up right here and we're going to work with this. I'm going to use just my coffee table because I actually really like the look of the wood. It'll make like a really nice background. Um, so what I want to do is I want to set everything up. So this one's going to be about coffee. So I have right here, um, I got like the box of roasters pack. So I have that. I'm gonna have, these are all like the flyers with information on each one of the coffees. And then this one's just like an extra thing that you get. So I might put that in the middle. And then I'm gonna go grab some coffee. Give me one second here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn on my DSLR here. And so I'm just gonna have this angled down onto the table. See, that's not quite flat. So what I might do is actually pull my tripod up onto the table instead. So that way this is actually flat. So give me one second here. Okay, so now that I have my tripod kind of set up so it's actually laying flat, I want my viewfinder obviously to not have the legs in it so I'm gonna angle that a bit now for the purpose of this video um, right now I'm gonna have everything set up so that way it's horizontal on here but once I go to take my picture for Instagram I'm gonna have it flipped vertical so what I did when I was setting up my tripod is I rested the two legs up on the table so that way it's over top of the table but I'm not like taking the whole table over with my tripod and then what I have here is I have a level so I just wanted to make sure that that bubble is right in the center so that way I know that this is level it's not leaning back or forward okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch so that you guys are seeing what is on this screen here as I begin to lay it out okay so when I'm laying out my flat lay what I want to do is I want to have everything so that way it goes over the edges of the frame okay so we're actually gonna get rid of everything we're gonna start with a a fresh clean slate. Now I want my flat lay to have some texture to it. So I'm actually gonna pull out some of the coffee beans here. I'm gonna go like this. Okay, I'm starting to like the way that that's looking. I want the mug to be somewhere in there. Okay, and I just feel like it's kind of lacking. It's not very exciting. So I'm gonna go see what else I can add to this. 
Okay, so I've decided to add in this light box here that says you got this. What I'm gonna have to do is switch this camera to portrait mode so I can now actually see what it's gonna look like. Okay, let me show you what I've got so far. So here is what it's looking like on screen. So I have the coffee down here. I got the you got this. It's just looking really crowded up in that corner. So I'm gonna try and move some stuff around now. So instead I'm gonna try moving this actually over down into the bottom corner, I think. Yeah, like down here. Okay, that looks way, way better. So if you look on my screen now, just more balanced. Now you can see there's a bit of the couch at the top, but when you cut it down for Instagram, you're not even gonna see that. You're actually gonna be cutting down off part of the bottom and part of the top. So I'm quite happy with this. So I'm gonna take a couple of pictures. Okay, so I've put my camera into manual mode. Okay, let's take a shot. Now I have it on a timer. So that way, I'm not shaking the camera at all. Okay, so this isn't bad, but what I find is, is that the main focus of it is actually the you got this sign, and I actually want the coffee to be the main focus. So I'm gonna try moving this around again. Okay, so I just finished my one flat lay, um, but I wanted to do something different. I just wasn't crazy about that one. So I've put together another one. I'm using a different board as I'm using coffee on the board, and so I didn't want it to just blend in. So I just have this plain piece of pine. I already have it all set up, so I have like a mug here. I have my AeroPress, ground coffee, the scoop, coffee beans, and then a coffee bag. And so I'm gonna try and get a vertical shot of this. So what I'm gonna do this time, instead of putting it on my tripod, I'm actually gonna stand on the corners of my table and I'm gonna take it from above. And I also take it near the window so that way all the natural light is just coming in and I did that for the last one as well. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was me learning how to do some flat lays. I kinda had to test what worked, what didn't work. I did the first one and I just wasn't really happy with it. After editing the photos and re-looking at them, I actually am really happy with those photos. Um, but when I was setting it up, I just didn't like how crowded it felt. And so that's why I went back and I did a second flat lay. Um, my second camera died. <laughs> so that's why there isn't really behind the scenes of that um, flat lay because it was dead. I couldn't record it and take photos. So I'm really sorry about that, but it was basically the same idea. I just had a concept in my head um, that I wanted the story of making coffee to be portrayed in my photo. And so I just started with a clean slate, laid everything out, set it up, and instead of using my tripod, I stood on my table, which probably is not as safe as using my tripod, but I stood on the table and just started taking photos being straight on and so this is just what worked for me I included my camera settings from those photos and I'm really happy with how they turned out you guys let me know what did you think of the photos did you like the first set better did you like the last one I did better did you like it better once I had re rearranged everything what was your favorite one of my three photos and are you guys interested in doing flat lays what are some flat lay photos that you guys want to take this one was all about coffee, but there's so many things that you could take in flat lays. So give me a suggestion. What should I take a flat lay photo of? Um, that is it for this video. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel, definitely do that. There's so much new content coming out, especially this month of October. I'm doing Utober, and so that means a video every single day is going live. Um, you guys can check out all of the Utober videos somewhere in a playlist. I'll link them. They're either on the side here or up in the corner or down below, definitely in the description box. I will link the playlist so you can watch all of the YouTuber videos and subscribe to this channel because there's so much content coming out. I do weekly vlogs and then I also do photography videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and 
I think that's everything. <laughs> I hope you guys are all having a great day and make sure you comment down below which one of those photos was your favorite and I will see you again in my next video. Bye! <laughs>